Okay, so day one of Wizard World Comic Con. We haven't even left yet, and already it's going badly. If you look here, that's how my drink opened. So, yeah, let's start it off right. So now I've got to do this without cutting myself. There we go. All those adulting things. All right, so is everybody ready? Yes. Yes, I'm ready to roll this window up. It's freaking freezing. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> aye, aye, oh, God. Captain. <laughs> oh, the slow roll, because I haven't started the engine hey, yet. That's fine. There's an engine. We locked up the car. I didn't lock the car. You gave the keys? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. All right. So now we're in the truck and we're headed out. Nolan's bound. Nolan's bound. That sucks. This happened on the road. The loudest sound I ever heard. It was like bang. And I was like, oh, the windshield's fine. No, it isn't. <laughs> I found that. So, not off to the best start in the world. Let's hope it gets better from here on. This is the line to get in. Yes, I said line. It's a serpentine. And it's full. And we're actually late, so we we thought we would avoid this, but we didn't avoid it. Okay, so if you look way back there is where the con is, and we have that's not even that's less than half of where we have to walk. We have to pass all of these halls. It's quite a trek. So I did get a couple of things today. Uh, I got a really cool T-shirt. And I have a game that I'm going to put up in a video pretty soon. So I don't want to give that away right now. But this is just day one. It was only a few hours. It's a short day Friday. I'm going to put up some more stuff. So yeah, I'm going to have tomorrow. Right now we're going to go validate our parking. Uh, and go eat something. And that'll be about it. So, um, oh, I met up with Richard. If you guys uh, saw my RTX video. Hi Richard, watches the videos. I'm not telling you hi, I just saw it. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so he's doing well, in case everybody wanted to know. Um, and uh, probably see more of him over the weekend. So yeah, a little bit. So day two Wizard World. Um, I dropped everybody else off and I booked it to where we park and I gotta walk all the way alone which is fine it's just ugh, I'm still sick I'm like yesterday I looked fine I, I thought it was on the upswing but I've had the flu lately so last night I got like no sleep at all so that really that was really sucky um, then we wake up well whenever I finally do wake up after like two hours of sleep <coughs> See, I'm not lying, and it's so echoey in here. But uh, yeah. Um, we look on the website for Wizard World, and it says that Stan Lee's uh, photo op, which is one that we paid for, 120 bucks, uh, was already like it already happened. And it's like, oh no! Like you think we would have noticed that or looked at it? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this today. Just don't worry about it. Just look past all that. Uh, well. Uh, my cousin Richard, we uh, messaged him ahead because he had asked me if I was there yet. Oh, we're running late. Uh, so he went and checked the line, and he has another photo op at 2.30 because the line was so huge. Uh, Stanley's kind of a big deal. So, yeah. So everything's good there. The money doesn't go to waste. We actually have a... Uh, well, there's an option that, like, if you're late or if you... Uh, getting a car accident or something that you can't make it. It's like an insurance thing you pay extra for. I didn't do that. Same reason I don't pay for warranties or whatever. Because you never think you're going to need that stuff. Thankfully, we didn't need that stuff. Because other than that, I would have been out 120 bucks. So, I'm walking. And I've been walking. Like, you can't even see at all, like, where I came from. It's a thing. It's the entire span of the Ernest Memorial Convention Center. It's all, all the way at the end. I've got a long ways to go. So, <sighs> day two. 
great start. Let's do a walk through and check out the things that they have at the Comic Cons. Here at New Orleans, Comic Con, Wizard World. Lots of art pieces and things. I can't find anybody. I don't know where everybody, everybody went. I can't find Richard, I can't find James or Courtney. So, there's a Back to the Future booth way out there. Oh, they have the clock tower set up and everything. I'm gonna go hit up Wild Bill's in a little bit. That's where you can get something to drink. Pretty nice, you can just refill it all day. You gotta buy the cup though. It's Saturday, so there's a lot of people. And today is the Stan Lee photo op, so it's gonna be a lot of line waiting. Uh, I talked to a guy earlier, he's like, good luck. Oh, I didn't realize I had you looking at the ceiling. Sorry about that. I'm behind SpongeBob right now. There he goes. I got schnoz. Small, but let's see. Nine each. Buy two, get one free. That's pretty cool. I got some patches. I like Never Ending Story. I like that Orin. On figures. Figures. So this is Guile. That's that's Courtney's favorite Street Fighter. Is Guile? You can ask her about him, and you'll know how much she likes that guy. Don't do that. I'm just kidding. I hate that guy. Just because he's so vain, he's always like combing his hair. But I'm like, well, he's a veteran. Let him comb his damn hair. All right, what else we got? Oh, I'm interested in this guy. Ooh. I don't see a price on him. I like the Super Legends Lord's Head. <coughs> I don't see a price though. Hi. Right. Um, do you, do you know what the price is on this one? This is 25. 25. This is one of the chase ones from the, yeah, the uh, yeah, Super Legends. Yeah. 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 I had the uh, gold, the green, the white. There was four of them. I sold the other ones already. All right. Sorry, I'm doing a Comic Con video. <laughs> Twenty-five. Ooh. And I already met Robert Axelrod, so I got him to sign uh, the 2000, 2000, 2010 figure. I wish I'd have had that guy. I don't know, he's kind of jacked up a little bit. I don't know, guys, what do you think? Maybe we'll come back to it. He's got more Power Ranger stuff. I'm going to come check it out. Oh, there we go. Oh. Excuse me. Original Dragon Sword in box. I don't have the Legacy Communicator. I want one. I got this guy. I got this, but I don't have it in the box. Oh, it's sealed. Sorry, Pepsi Transformer. Made that's pretty. See, it's only it's only thirty four ninety nine though. Are they gonna honor that price? Hmm. Probably not. Doesn't hurt to ask though. Except like I might get laughed at. But other than that. This one doesn't have the price either. Oh, and I guess that's it. That's all he has. Okay. 
thought he said a lot, though. Didn't he say he had a lot more? Oh, well. I think I have a 10 minute limit for the 60 frames per second. I need a new phone. All right, let's see what we got. I have a Wolverine, which is really sought after. <coughs> I'm coughing. I got this guy at work that I can get. Um, I got it like saved for me. I don't know, what do you guys think I should buy? Should I get an action figure? Or see like this is oh hello. This this is one of my favorite booths. I am back. See, I told my wife about it and she said, make sure to buy me something pretty. Oh the bunny's gone with the hands in the Oh yeah, that's Yeah. There was one the hands were in like the stockade. There's a play. <laughs> And I, I don't know. I'm. She wants me to get her something pretty, so I might get her something from here. I like this guy a lot. You can wiggle his eye around. I like it too. Yeah. And um, he's mostly soft and cuddly. That's what you want too. This is her style, I think. And I, I don't know. I'm so. I really don't know. There's so many. Like this one's got a face hugger. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. Now, I don't know which one I'm gonna buy, but I, I'm, I'm gonna probably get one from here. It's kinda amazing. See so these guys, car show, Jack, customized frang, uh, fangs. So you can get fangs done here too. But, see I really enjoy all this, this is great. Like look at this guy. <coughs> so, See, like they take like Secret Life of Pets and they do that with it. I don't know. This guy I really like too. This little dude. I just don't know. This one's definitely in the running though. That one's in the running. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Um. Over there, they sell bootleg DVDs. I don't deal with those people, so <laughs> I don't I don't like bootleg DVD people. I just I don't support them. I don't know how they can get away with it. Actually, it's kind of illegal, <laughs> but whatever. All right, let's go find something else to do. There's some pandemonium going on. We've got like all of these. Like those two women right there that are talking to each other, they're trying to get all these people into Jason Momoa's lines, and they're pushing all of us back over here because we're in Stan Lee's line. Like, it seems to be going okay now, but like, they had to figure this out because it was crazy a little while ago. Here we are, this high, just wanting to check out Stanley. Go, sit, go stand next to him, take a picture. He's not here. Um, they said that he was running late, and I think the same thing happened this morning. I don't think he made it to it. So I hope everything's okay. You know, this is day two still. And uh, I, I don't know if they're having more issues now. No, it looks, it looks fine. They had a huge line going all the way to the back over there. Stan Lee's on the outside. We're all, you know, in the same boat. But, I mean, it's not their fault that that uh, he's not here yet. So, like I said, I hope everything's okay, but, you know. So we're just doing our ticket. What else we can do? She is... Like, I don't know. She like had, head's gonna explode. Yeah, her head's gonna blow up. Like she has just been so stressed out. So, and he's smiling over here. That's terrible.
and then all of, like that. We have been. I don't know what it is about us. It's like everybody can like cut in front of us to like get over there. They're like I'm not cutting. I'm not cutting. But actually, like I saw the last woman that did that did cut. So they're supposed to go like I said all the way back there from Momoa. but she just cut like through here. So. She got a VIP pass. Oh, and that makes it okay, huh? Yeah, <laughs> because does. that was another thing. That was another problem. Was that? Um, the, the woman that was here, it's like, okay, uh, all the Momoas, it's like, well, where are you putting the VIPs? And she's like, and then she just laughed it off. And it's like, hello? Oh, yeah, they're over there. So they're not walking up. That's an issue. They need to walk up. This is a thing at cons. Right now, we're only in the line to get to the line. So we're in line to get in line. Momoa? Con life. Well, at least they're honest. So it says it's sugar. That's the, that's what it's called. There's marshmallow madness. Absolutely no nutritional value added. No more picking cereal out of your marshmallows. So, yeah. And you know what that causes, Courtney? Diabetes. Diabetes. Purdy. Ain't this nice? I don't know when they're gonna take all this down, so. Yeah, we're by uh, Harris Casino. That's where I. I'll turn this around. That's where I always park. And the cool thing about them, they have this thing where if you put. Uh, if you play for a half hour, it validates your parking for 24 hours. So, I. I, uh, I play for a half hour by going to the penny machine and I put one penny in every minute so it cost me 30 cents to validate my parking so not bad for a full day in New Orleans but uh yeah check this out that right, cool yeah we're gonna walk over to, to Walgreens and you know just get some stuff for the night and that's pretty much it huh? oh yeah the smoking section they even have heaters up because it's so cold although you wouldn't think because of how I'm dressed but I love it I love the weather yep there's a trolley check it out it's not an actual is it an actual oh yeah that is an actual trolley they have some that are not actual trolleys that just drive around their buses to look like them no it's an actual trolley one all right well that's just something I wanted to show you guys they have like all these cool things up still from Christmas so yeah see a little bit of the city and of course you're not gonna see the city without hearing sirens because after all we are New Orleans yeah all the buildings you, you can't tell where it's coming from with all these buildings so all right then all right so I turn it back on because it is coming over here uh oh, they're blocking off traffic. What is going on? What? Celebrity escort. Look at that. That's got to be more than a celebrity. That's got to be a government official or something. Well, they're celebrities. And they're over. Uh. They shouldn't be. Yeah. yeah. They're more like they, public servants. They're supposed to be working for us. Yeah. Alright. That's that's how we do things in America. See, you thought we were joking about Mardi Gras. We just happened up on a parade. You know, that's that's a wedding parade. I got married in New Orleans. I wish we would have did this. That'd be cool. Check it out. So they recycle cigarette butts here. Okay. So day three of Wizard World Comic Con. I'm late again. <laughs> I uh, I drop everybody off over there. Now I'm walking. 
had to go park. I was a little sick. Uh, I'm still sick. In fact, today I feel worse because I'm, I've got to the point where I do like, I have like stuff that's not coming out anymore because I'm getting better, but I'm still coughing. So I still don't feel good. So it's, I'm in the in-between. So I'm probably gonna be coughing for like a couple more weeks. But anyway, it has nothing to do with the video. I just wanna give you a little update. So I'm gonna meet them. I'm gonna try to do some more video footage of the con. Uh, maybe take pictures with some people. I haven't done that yet. So if I find some cosplayers, I'm gonna try to take a picture with them. Or if I pass by some for in the video, like some just walked out of the, like they were right over there. And they walked out. So couldn't get those in the video. Oh, my hair is doing whatever it is today. I can't just brush it back. I don't care. It's the last day. I'm not taking any photos. We did Stanley yesterday. Here's a picture we took. You gotta have a lot of respect for that man because he he wanted to make it up to all his friends. He, his fans. He's actually staying today. He, he wasn't supposed to stay till today. But he's, he's here today signing more autographs and stuff. And uh, I think he's probably taking more pictures and stuff. Just because, you know, yesterday he wasn't feeling well or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Um, I'm going into the con area proper now. Kind of, sort of. But day three, let's see how it goes. Okay, so I found this really cool booth. A couple of nice ladies. It's called Gates of Obrillin. Uh, see, it's like, yeah. And I picked this, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I picked this up for Megan. I don't know if it'll pick up. It is, uh, you can actually read it. I think it's like obituaries and stuff in there. So yeah, she likes uh, gothic jewelry and things. And uh, I think it's pretty cool too. So I picked that up for her. She's gonna be really excited about that. I, mean, I could have got her a tea set hat, but no. So yeah, um, I haven't really seen too many uh, people cosplaying with you know like that I would take pictures with. Although I did see a White Ranger and a Gold Ranger, and uh, I see James and Courtney. Let's go say hi to them. Hey guys, how's it going? So I got Megan that. Oh, she's gonna love that. Yeah, and you know how I know that? She told me. <laughs> that helps. I, I sent her 50 pictures or something. I took a picture of an entire table. So remember a little while ago I said she's gonna love that? I know she will, because she told me. She had like five things, so she was like, between these. And I'm like, you like this one? Yep, okay, I'm gonna get that. So, uh, Richard's at a panel right now. And so we're just walking around now. I've accomplished my goal. So we're happy. I keep looking over here. Oh yeah, we've seen everything a few times. Yeah. Um, but that's the thing. Like right now, we could stroll. We could just relax. Yeah. See, like that. Just kind of chill out. Soak in the atmosphere. Just really. Probably go to that WWE one. Go to the wrestlings. Where's that wrestling booth? Let's see what they got left. They got yeah. A lot. They got a lot of autograph stuff. I'm, I'm thinking about getting a signed Shawn Michaels figure because. I'm actually going to be a vendor at a Comic Con the same weekend that WrestleCon is going to be here in New Orleans. So I won't be able to actually meet him, get a picture, and get him to sign a figure. But I can at least get a signed figure over here with a COA by um, uh, HighSpots.com. So, eh. Kind of like, well. Because I don't know how, how if he does this every year or if it's going to be here. I, mean, I know that it was here this year for sure because of WrestleMania. But she said last year, but I don't know where it was. I guess it wasn't here. But high spots, they follow them around everywhere, so it doesn't matter. Well, there's Arrow. It is this Mr. Arrow. Well, that's his, ba that's his back. But trust me, he looked really good. It was funny because, see this? Like, check out a Nosferatu shirt. John Heater was wearing the same shirt. And uh, I was like, 
and he was like, ah, ah, we had a, one of those moments, like, ah, it was great. Oh, sorry, me. So, um, yeah, me and Napoleon Dynamite, same fashion sense. I don't know how good that is, but hey, it is what it is. That's Bob Camp right there in the hat. He's a creator of Ren and Stimpy. I was thinking about getting something signed by him, but I don't know. I might still do that because I'm such a huge fan. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, even just to stop and talk to him would be really awesome. What's that? Running. She's running. She's, well, she knows where she's going. So I'm, I'm just strolling making a video. So it's like she's taking us to where we need to be. Brianna Campbell, please go to the registration area now. Now! So I'm over at the wrestling booth. Uh, it's HighSpots.com's booth. You see here. And they have a WrestleCon, like I mentioned. It's the same. It's the same uh, weekend. <laughs> As um, as the con that I'm, I'm going to be bending at, I was thinking about getting this guy right here. See, I have one left, one signed Shawn Michaels figure. It's very hard to walk away from it. I may have to, though. But like, look at this. They have the signed posters, and they got the four horsemen. This place is great. The championship belts, the like it's some, it's amazing. They never have wrestling stuff over here, and I'm, I'm so excited that they do. But like, man, uh, if only I had the fundage. I would like to get one of those belts. They're like 225. Normally at the on the website they're like 280 or whatever. So because it's Sunday, they dropped it down because Sunday. Always get your deals on Sunday. Hey, look, they sell comic books at a Comic Con. Imagine that. So, a little bit of walking around. We got some. Uh, we got some Harry Potter stuff and some Pokemon stuff and basic nerdy stuff. Are you? I got. I got a, a Dr Pepper in, in my pouch here. If you want that? All right, yeah. So they even have like, see, so they have like Kevin Steen and AJ Styles and all these figures from before they joined, like uh, WWE. And I'm losing now. I'm over there. Okay. But yeah, guys, uh, not as much content today as I thought would be. <laughs> Tonight we're going to a. Uh, Oh, you know what? I, I stopped myself mid sentence. See that guy up there? See that dude? Oh, oh. Ryuk. Don't tell anybody. That's going to be the next mask that I sculpt. It's going to be awesome. So, no. The mask I sculpt will not be $25. She's talking about something else. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to cut it off for now. If I see something cool, I'll go ahead and put it up. And if not, then uh, we'll see you at the next, next little section. T-Rex. I have a T-Rex. That's how it is. Let's go walk, walk through. Walk on. I guess we can go this way. Give you the walking experience. So you can see everything. Let's. I'm gonna. All right. Let's walk. We're gonna do the walking experience on here. Let's see. We got the. That's the. Look at those belts. <laughs> well, I don't know. Those are inside of them. Oh, the oh, NWA we the United States title. <laughs> artwork. David Bowie artwork. Here's the cool one. Put you up here, maybe. Oh, super retro. And they have all the coolness. 
Uh, that's out. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's so cool. Kool-Aid burst. Like what? What? Oh, looking for some Yu-Gi-Oh for the boy. Jareth figure from Labyrinth. That's so cool. Oh, oh wow. Secrets of Stone. Secrets of Stones has. Wow. It's, it's really beautiful. It's so shiny and sparkly. Lady. <laughs> now, for the guys and all the collectors and stuff, we got. These fellers. And then you got bootleg DVDs. Boo. You know, likey. All the world wanted dope. That's that new Deadpool thing yeah, right there. Yeah, Pretty nice. Let's see. You got anything good up in here? I got all taken already. Nothing really classic looking. I like classic figures. Let's go, sorry. Let's go back this way. Jason David Frank was there. I got enough of his autograph, though. I got him signing. I got a lot of his stuff signed. A lot of, a lot of like, not his stuff signed. My stuff signed by him. Got like a Green Ranger helmet and things and such. So, some of the people that are here, for John Heater and I had our moment. Pop figures galore. The artwork, it's amazing, all the artwork. Salvador Dali as the Joker. Very cool. Some awesome looking wands that are created by them. And toys and whatnot. More pop figures. It's like pop figures took over the world, the con world anyway. Yeah. I feel like this is only Sunday. You can kind of walk. This isn't a lot of people at all. I'm freely moving around. I haven't stopped once. Or had to stop once at least. Metal works. That's pretty. JL Merrill Metal Works. Electric Cosmetics. That's shiny. Leather bags and book bindings. Top figures again. From Walking Dead. All the hot toys and stuff like that are up top. Here's the Acto One. Let's go see the Acto One. I swear I got my Nosferatu shirt that I'm wearing. See, there it is. That's a nice guy right there. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing my shirt. Welcome back. There it is being worn. <laughs> yep. And let me ask you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. It is so nice to wear. I feel like 
It's nice and stretchy and it just feels, it moves well. Really nice. <laughs> To our totally Facebook gonna do that. I actually did it earlier. I moved this right here. We took a picture. Yep, totally did it. Yep. All right, all right, we'll do. Have a good one. Yeah. People like me here. <laughs> no, I got some. Uh, it's just because I'm wearing it, you know. Want to represent it because there's some really awesome people that work there, and uh, they had me like modeling it, like eh, eh, yeah. So, uh, of course, the steampunk stuff. Got those guys. And there's the Ecto One. Actually, it's not the Ecto One. Oh, yeah, it is. They have different ones that they make. This one just happens to be the Ecto One. It's so amazing. Oh, the Ecto-3. White walls. So white wall tires. And the food court, refreshments. Don't ever buy food at a con unless you're desperate. Does this spice? And there's baby. From Supernatural. Alright. Yeah, check it out. And there's Supernatural join the hunt. Trying to get their booth name. They have hard sleeves for I guess it, that means they oh they do, they have merchandise. Pretty awesome. She said no. oh, oh, they have a card. We do have cards. We have social media. We have social media. Let's just do this. Like media. Experience Entertainment. From upstate New York. Upstate New York. There you go. There's social media for you. I'll record it up. Thank you. I'm not going to worry with that call. Let's sit here. That's cool. And bushes around here somewhere. Everybody just goes in there and takes selfies. There's some I might check out a little later. That's pretty cool. Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. Oh, here we go. Oh man, that looks amazing. See, everything's in real time. That's really cool. All right. Oh, nice hair, dude. Right. Is that Yeah. Oh, they're playing some games. What is Guy wearing? What is Guy wearing? guy's really into it. <laughs> the guy backed out of the game. That's funny. It's like he rage quit. So, they're doing Street Fighter. They, oh, what? They're playing Smash Brothers over here. So yeah, you can game. You can game at a con. Uh, this I want to show you. Um, I did this uh, my first year, 2012. I got pictures taken. Um, it's really awesome. They're here every year in New Orleans uh, for Wizard World, and it's for a good cause. The Michael J. Fox Foundation helped uh, find a cure for Parkinson's disease, and you can donate money. Oh wow! I didn't know about this. Wow. A little pricey, but you know. Oh wow! 
They have the almanac. I might have I might have to do that, guys. I think I'm gonna have to do that. And then of course, you know, and that with the the pit bull. <laughs> I have a pit bull now. But yeah, they did a great job here. And yeah, definitely check out uh, check them out. The Michael J. Fox Foundation, very cool. Uh, like I said, I've done this, and uh, yeah, help for help with uh, trying to end Parkinson's disease. As somebody with MS, I have multiple sclerosis. I know how much these foundations, you know, they really need your help. So definitely give everything that you can. Okay. So yeah. Definitely do that, and I have given, so we're good there. So I'm not just taking a picture or anything. But I do want to get the message out there, guys. But I'm also gonna go. I'm actually gonna go purchase one of these. So I'm gonna be right back. All right. So I got the almanac. Had a nice conversation with the lady about the foundation and stuff. So really cool. There's a guy over here. I want to take a like a little video picture with. So you guys can see, it's a freakazoid, he's right over there, so. He's, 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 in a, he's in a conversation right now though. Oh, and there's Wolverine over there, I'm gonna try to give that a shout out. Hey freakazoid, quick little picture. Hi, thanks. <laughs> quick little freakazoid picture. All right. Oh, somebody just said Macho Man. Somebody dressed as Macho Man? That would be cool. Alright, let me go try to hunt down that Wolverine. I don't know where I saw him. I mean, I know where I saw him. I don't know where he would be now. Uh, if you see him, let me know. <laughs> like three days from now when I post this. <laughs> yeah, I got a long drive, guys. Long drive. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because I don't live around here anymore. Oh, crap. I completely lost Wolverine. He went in this direction. There's Mr. Kylo Ren. And... Do you see him? All right, I don't see a Wolverine anywhere. <coughs> All right, well, if I find them, I'm gonna get some kind of a picture with him. Okay, so there'll be that. And then pretty much we're gonna leave because James and Courtney are at the door. They're about to head out, I guess. It's like they're, they're ready to go. They've, they've seen all of this a few times already. I haven't been able to really walk around and do this yet, so I kind of want to spend a little bit more time, but I don't know. I don't know. We might just be ready to go because we've got dinner and uh, we have a show to go see. So that'll be fun. We're going to have a fun day planned today. But uh, yeah, Wolverine's gone. That dude's gone. Just history. And then in Europe, but uh, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, you'll see me in a little bit. I gotta keep doing that. All right, we're about to go inside the TARDIS. I have a TARDIS set up. We're about to go inside that. Check it out. In a little bit. Pretty cool. You want to take a picture out here? Uh, no, I think. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Now we're going to take a picture and all kind of stuff. So I'm going to have to stop the video, but I'm here with uh, this guy. He's nameless. Oh, you don't remember him. You don't know this guy. Who are you? I don't even know this guy. He's wearing a Star Trek shirt. See, I want to get him angry. Richard. All right. Well, um, let's, uh, let's take a picture out here. bigger on the inside. They must have heard that a million times. Camera interface. So, the target. Nice. Alright, so we're going to say so far, the first one is going to actually print out. The second one is going to come to you in an email form with the first one. Alright. It's five seconds between each photo. It's going to look like this. Oh, cool. So let's do this. All right, so that was great. Um, here's the pictures. 
two of them. One of them I wasn't even ready for. The one where we're looking down. But it was natural looking, so I like it. So yeah, you go in there, they print out a picture for you. So I have the little picture printed out. And yeah, pretty cool. So guys, uh, we're about to wrap this con up. That's gonna be about it for us. So for, for me, and James and Courtney and Richard, you know, it's gonna be a little goodbye from the con. However, we probably will stop. We, I'm gonna try to see if we could get some more video footage in from just the trip overall, if we see anything crazy. If not, well, I'm gonna leave you with one question. The question of the day. Are you my mommy? Who I found. I'm gonna go get a picture if I can. Let's we'll see what happens. Well, that overshadowed what I was going to do. So, there's that. Alright, so we're going to Toys R Us in Baton Rouge. We're on our way back. And, uh, yeah, the room didn't have a hair dryer, so I'm kind of like today. Um, so, let's see. This is a good Toys R Us, too. A very, very good one. I'm usually able to find all kind of great things at this one. We actually came like a week ago and I picked up some stuff. So let's see if they restocked. Uh, we kind of wanted to get up and stretch our legs. So we do a Toys R Us video. All right, so they're going to the restroom, which is great because that means I get first dibs on toys. I always do that. It's like I try to beat him to the toy section because he'll just grab it. And he always gets the best stuff. He always goes to like Goodwill and finds all kind of crazy stuff that I can never find. I, every time I go, it's always picked over because of him. So let's see what we got. I got the WWs section. That's what we call it. Uh, I've seen that one before. You know what? I'm going to actually switch over to 60 frames for a second because I don't like the stuttering thing. Yeah, that's more better. Okay. Yeah, I was recording... A show we went to last night which you totally could so it's fine and uh but i have like a six minute no or no i'm sorry 10 minute time limit with this interesting oh. and i wanted to record for longer so i took it off it looks a like the the hair is way too high or if not the hair to be in too high oh wow come on come on back i can't quite make it but it's all painted. I don't know why it does these things. I'll go back to autofocus. Look at that belt. They want $100 for that thing, I think. Oh, they got the women's championship too. Well, that's good. That's a pretty cool set. Well, actually, that's a different set than the one I remember. See you in And the old school Brock Lesnar. Let's see what we got over here. They're still trying to sell these Power Ranger movie figures. We can't get those sold. See, I picked up a few of these. I picked up like the whole set. I got this one and that one. And, yeah, I picked up the, whole, the entire set. Those things are awesome. They're uh, 12 bucks a piece. They even have like the Megazord, Red Ranger, Green Ranger, White Ranger, all those guys. So, yeah. I thought maybe there might be a Green Ranger helmet, a Legacy helmet, but they don't have it. But this guy I really want. It's a hundred dollars. I have the Dragon Zord and the uh, the Mega Zord, black and gold. I don't have this guy though. And that'd be really cool to own. But I just don't have the scratch on me at the moment for such things as these. I always thought these were really cool. I mean, they're not G.I. Joe or anything, but, you know, they're pretty detailed for what they are. And if you look, it's like you get all of these amazing uh, 
uh, Jeeps and things. Like, look at the detail on that. That's pretty cool. You know, and the prices are very reasonable. So you get like helicopters and tanks and stuff. That would have been amazing back in the 80s. But yeah. Love some more Power Ranger stuff. But I want to go to like the adult collector section, wherever that is. It's not going to be down here. We got Voltron, Yokai Watch. That show is kind of cute. I like it. The Yokai Watch. Especially the, the cat, Chabanyan. Nyan, 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 nyan. Whatever. Claws of Fury. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. They have the Cyclops and Fe Dark Phoenix set. A lot of people have been looking for that on Action Figure Junkies. I'm still sick. Can you believe that? Oh. Hulkbuster. Let's see, we got Star Wars section. We're here last week and I'm like, we should ask if they have any Star Wars. We'll be standing in here. And then the guy would be like, really? Oh, you know what though? Amongst all the Star Wars, this is all of it, is Star Wars. Look what they did. Because it's all the same, right? Yeah. The Nintendo section first. Let's go see what they got. Cool. Well, they got the Nintendo figures here. Like at our store, like our Walmart, that's the only thing they have left out of anything. Like that's the only thing they've been having forever. They just can't sell it. I thought about this one for a little while. And. The Zelda, so her face, she's like, she's so sad, you know, very sad looking figure, I love the detail on it, so, and, uh, they're chic, and I'm not spoiling anything for anybody who hasn't played Ocarina of Time, which you definitely should, this reminds me of a wallet that I own, I'm gonna have to show you that wallet one day. It's a wallet that I had when I was in second grade. I was actually playing with it in class and I got it taken away. And the teacher, like I remember there was a dime in there. And so I got it back at the end of the year and my dime was missing. So yeah, second grade teacher stole my dime. So to this day she owes me a dime. I haven't seen this guy like in a while, in a long time. So they have stuff here that you don't normally see. The only one that I'm really looking for is uh, the Ocarina of Time Link. Uh, just in case I do get a Nintendo Switch, which I currently do not have. Um, I would like to use it on the game. Oh, this is kind of blurry. I'm going to have to like do manual focus. Because it just doesn't want to... These are pretty cool. It's like these are the plushies. And then you get the, the hard ones down here. And that's amazing. Like I would have loved that as a kid. They have some that are, I think a smaller one. And if you push down on them, he like, he jumps. We have that at our toys of rest, but I don't know, I don't see it here. But the adult toy section is it's around here somewhere. I think it's here, yeah. Oh, look, you already beat me there. See what I'm talking about? You see that? Jeez. What are you talking about? Uh, just how I always try to beat you to the toy section before you get the good stuff. Oh, good save. Stay. I got that on video. Ash versus Evil Dead. Yeah, that's not annoying. <laughs> No, no. Yeah, that was part of the show that we watched. I'm not gonna go into detail, but it was interesting. It was a burlesque show. Featuring Dobby the house elf. It was interesting. So, 
commando spawn. Whoa. All right, all right. Come on, focus. Daniel's on focus. Oh, wow. That's a nice. I like to me some spawn. Some Sonic. Sonic Boom, that's the name of the move of uh, Courtney's favorite guy, Street Fighter. <laughs> that face. Say what I want that to face. Say. No, she it's can't say what she wants to say. She hates Guile so much. Okay, so it says Atari joystick key ring. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's not Atari. See, that's Atari. That's pretty cool. You guys see that? Yeah, it's a little PlayStation. And then they have a PlayStation controller wallet, but it is not the controller. It is the console. Whoa! Oh, huh. It might be time for me to get a new wallet. Things I missed from the 90s. My MC Hammer pants and my Sega Genesis. I think the pants are gone forever, but with this awesome Sega Genesis console, Wallet Sega is back, baby. Can't touch this. Oh, I'm going to walk around with this just in case. Gamer. Atari flashback console. Is that it? Or is there more? There's more over here. Some Rick and Morty section. What's she looking at? Oh, oh, there are figure arts in here. I've they got the WW section. And they got Ryu, and yes, he's Ryu, that's what I'm calling him. Number one, baby. Oh, wow. This area is under video surveillance. Yeah, I guess so. Let's see. Um, Stone Cold figure art. And the rock. Stone Cold costs 50. Rock's only 40. I don't see anything up. Okay. Street Fighter 5. 55 bucks. I just realized, like, the background music. Hey, Tyson. Listen. Remember later on, whenever you edit this video, to cover up the background music so you don't get demonetized. Okay? Okay. Thanks, past me. All right, so what else we got here? Just the Pokemans. Twin Peaks. That's it, guys. I think that's about everything that I'm going to show here. There's really nothing else to this place. That's the big, big stuff. I like these, though. Those are really cool. They do have good music playing, but I, I gotta try to filter it out. And I'm right under a speaker, so that's gonna be really hard. So if it just cuts to music, just sorry. That's, that's kind of a thing I have to do. All right, well, that's it for this leg of the trip. Oh, I'll let you know if I did get this. I may, I don't know, I really like it. We found a place that sells king cakes. The, the place that we were told about, we were told to go to this place called Tasty's and they had McKenzie king cakes and it was just a lot of information we got from some people in the mall. And it was, it was a great, you know, great in, pra in thought but not in practice. So we were like, we went in there and said, hey, we want a McKenzie king cake. And we weren't the only people that asked in there and they were out. They had their own king cakes, but nobody wants that. Nobody wants a tasty king cake. They want a McKenzie king cake. If you come to New Orleans, you need a McKenzie king cake. Anyway, but we got the next best thing. We went to Rouse's, as you can see here. Rouse's Market, Louisiana staple. Um, got, we got a king cake from over there. And this flavor is, you can look at all the flavors they have. Well, except for the ones covering it. This is cream cheese. 
Does it show it somewhere else? No, that's it. Cream cheese. Well, look at all these flavors. Oh, and remember they had pumpkin written in on one, so they oh, even have yeah. more than that. It's crazy. Like, they don't mess around. And then, of course, the little baby in there. Was it in the side? So was it inside or was it on the It was on the side. Outside. Yeah, they can't put it in the cake anymore. They used to, and I guess too many people choked to death, so. You know, I haven't tried it yet, but um, they have, as you can tell, it's been thoroughly tried. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see. Apparently it's really dense, like this thing was heavy, like super heavy whenever we got it, it was ridiculous. So, let's, let's peep game on the cheese. So it's like, basically like a cinnamon roll cake with cheese and icing and sprinkles, so it's, it's diabetes. That's what it is. I'm gonna give it a shot because they tell me it's really good, so I'm gonna try it. I don't like a dry king cake. I like them when they're filled. So, this is really good. It's not stale in any way, even though it's, um, it was a couple days ago we got it. So, cause yeah, this video is coming out a couple days out. Like, it's coming out the next weekend. Cause I, everything was crazy. So, yeah. Go to Rouse's, get yourself a king cake if you're in Louisiana. If you're not in Louisiana, come say hi. Anyway. Later.